What's up, Wolverines? Welcome to this edition of WBLN. I'm Christian Cueto. And I'm Gabriel Fraga. Teachers are one of the biggest parts of Berlin, especially Ms. Garcia. She has been a big influence here at Berlin. Here's Adrian Vidal with his story. My name is Adrian Vidal, and today we are joined by Ms. Garcia. Hello, Adrian. We will be talking to Ms. Garcia about why she became a teacher, what job she was showing that she did not become a teacher, and what you know, something to inspire kids who want to become teachers. So, Ms. Garcia, what inspired you to become a teacher? Well, I've always wanted to be a teacher. I like to give back to the community. I like to feel that I'm making a difference. And when I see um, what I start with at the beginning of the year with the students and what we end up with, it is a very fulfilling feeling. Okay. What job would you have done if you didn't become a teacher? Well, I would have chosen to be a veterinarian. I am a big animal lover. And what, what's something you would say to um, never to give up on your dreams. If um, being a teacher is something that you're thinking of doing, to go for it. And always remember that you will never be a millionaire. Great to be a teacher. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. In the U.S. are getting vaccinated at an amazing rate. Jose Serratos has more. The ongoing battle with COVID-19 continues as there are a total of 158 million people with at least the first dose of the vaccine. There's a total of 124 million people or 38% of the U.S. population that are fully vaccinated. In the last week, an average of 1.83 million doses per day were administered. If they keep it up at this pace, it will take four months to cover 75% of the U.S. population. This means the battle may soon be over and return to a more normal state. For WBLN, I'm Jose Zaratos. The Great Galapagos Rock Formation, Darwin's Arch, has collapsed. The Darwin's Arch collapsed late last Wednesday. Scientists say it fell as a consequence of natural erosion. Named after English biologist Charles Darwin, the arch is considered one of the biggest, best diving spots in the Pacific. Some locals who work in the tourism industry have renamed the rock towers the Pillars of Evolution. Italy was countries during the COVID-19 pandemic, but after a year, it finally reopens to American tourists to visit since the virus spiked in October. The numbers dropped greatly, going from over 40,000 positive cases in October to under 5,000 positive cases in May. The Miami Heat are now down 2-0 to the Bucks after an embarrassing loss by 34 points. They will look to rebound at home today at 7.30. The Florida Panthers have now been eliminated from the Stanley Cup playoffs as they lost last night to the Tampa Bay Lightning, losing the series 4-2. The Miami Marlins won yesterday against the Phillies. The team was led by Jesus Aguilar, who had one RBI and two base hits. That's all for sports. Now back to you guys at the Thank you, Max. That's all for WBLN. Have a good day and stay golden, Wolverines.